Hi, this is Yadir at Chill Break Fishing. Today we're gonna make a live bait trace. But first, please like and subscribe. What you'll need is two Kendall round hooks, a 2 0 and a 6 0 a light slide clip, and some line between 0 0.50 and 0 0.80. Alright, and of course, the live bait. Alright, okay, so you're gonna take about 1.2 meters of your leader line. That's 1.2 meters, by the way. You're gonna thread it through your small, the eye of your smaller hook, which is the 2 0. Alright, so leave enough line on tag end to tie your second hook afterwards. Alright, so to make the knot, make a loop like this. You're gonna wrap it five times around the eye of your hook. Alright, let through. Okay, and that's your first hook knot. Alright, now let's tie the second hook. This is your second hook, the 6 hole. Well, let's just do a normal knot, any knot you like. I don't know the name of this knot. Okay, and that's your, that's how your hooks will be set. All right, and now just to tie your, okay, now that you got your knots, you're gonna tie your slide clip on. That, you can use any knot, figure bait, blood knot, whatever you like. I like the, the blood knot more. There you go. That's your live bait trace. Now I'm going to show you how to hook it onto a live bait. Right, so, obviously, I don't have a real live bait, so I'm going to be using this little paper cutout. And so, I'm asking Jake to show you where to place the hooks. So, you would place the hooks. Put that down there. You know, one on the upper lip of the mount. And then this one on its back on the spine of the fish. That's how the hooks will be placed through the upper jaw of the mouth. Remember, don't go through the both jaws of the mouth because then the fish won't be able to breathe and it will stay alive for long. You need to go through the upper jaw and then through the top of the back here. That's it. Thing tips and tricks. So, when you hook your fish, you could vary the distance from the head you want depending on the species you're targeting. So, if you're targeting salmon, you'd move this back hook further back, closer to the tail. When targeting garrick, you want to keep the hook closer to the head because garrick feed from the top. Now, all right. And when sliding a bait in, remember to do it gently because the fish is alive and you don't want to kill it. Also, zones to target when targeting garrick. So where you want to put your sinker? In the troughs, close to the front bank or close to the back bank? Not really on the banks. We haven't had much success on the banks. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Remember to like and subscribe.